Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the Climb Adventure GTX boot. What's up, SpeedX fam? Before we jump in and give you the download on this Climb boot, do us both a favor. Subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. That way you're locked in. You're gonna get all the latest gear reviews. We're always working hard to bring you the first look at the latest gear coming into the industry. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you can do so by simply shopping with us. It's real easy. Don't spend your money with those giant corporations. Support a family-owned business. There's a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to the Climb Adventure GTX boot. While you're over at speedx.com, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. Okay, when we're talking about adventure, we're talking about Climb, definitely one of the leaders in the space of adventure gear, making high-quality technical riding gear for not just uh, adventure bikes, but full-on off-road, snow, you name it. The folks out of Idaho know what they're doing. So Climb has a few different boots when it comes to adventure. They kind of have more casual-looking hiking style adventure boots that come down quite a bit lower than this full length uh, adventure gtx boot that i have before me now this is for folks they're going to step it up a little bit in the protection department but they don't want to go to a full-on kind of motocross style boot with lots of ankle protection extra weight all that tpu you know um, articulated ankle stuff this is going to give you lots of protection in um, a number of places and it will come in handy you're on a you know if you're riding a heavy adventure bike those things can weigh around 550 pounds for like a, a GS 1250 having that fall on your toe or on your leg when you're in basic hiking boots or kind of lower top adventure boots could be bad news so if you're gonna take that machine off-road we recommend stepping it up to something like this now if you're getting into really spicy single track I would recommend more of a motocross style boot that has a little bit more ankle protection than this Adventure GTX. It just doesn't quite have it there, but it is much more walkable when you go and get off the bike. This thing is really comfortable for a boot of this length and the amount of protection that you have here. You also have Gore-Tex, so it's waterproof. The price tag, $449, making it a premium purchase. Of course, Climb always backs up their gear quite nicely with uh, extended warranty. When it comes to the fit, sizes 7 through 14 are, adventure, uh, are available in the Adventure GTX. Climb boots run nice and true, and they're actually uh, a little bit on the wide side. So if you have a wider foot, you're worried about that, Climb's got you covered here. Uh, no half sizes, so you will have to kind of split the baby here, maybe wear a thicker sock if you're between. And they're also giving you a few different insoles here to deal with that that uh, we'll show you in a minute. So order true to the sizing chart. If you're in between or you're a half size, I would recommend rounding up, go with the thicker insole that they provide you here and probably a thicker riding sock to make up that room. Now, when it comes to fit, I know shopping online for gear, sometimes you don't always get it right the first time. And that's why you should be buying your boots from us here at speedix.com because we're gonna hook you up with no cost returns. That's right, we don't nickel and dime you like those corporate motor outfits. We're gonna throw you a free return label cover, that return shipping. All you have to do to qualify is live in the lower 48 states and make sure the gear is brand new in the original box with the tags and bags and you're hooked up. Back to the boots. So we have Gore-Tex, see they even put their name on here. Gore-Tex is a membrane that's going to allow moisture to work its way out one direction. The hot, moist air your stinky feet are making is going to be able to escape while the rain, the stream crossing, whatever you're running into from the outside is kept out so that your feet don't get wet. Very important, especially if you're running off road, you're gonna do some stream crossings. It's a good reason to jump into the Adventure GTX. Now, when it comes to protection, we have some hard TPU down here in the heel area around the ankle. You have a buckle deflector here. If your foot gets uh, takes a rock or something, it won't take that buckle off, which will be handy, especially if you're out there on a multi-day ride. We flip this over and look at the inside. More TPU uh, that's meant to make contact with the bike, help you grip. There's a little bit of grip pattern here. Also protect you in case of a get off. We have TPU shin protection, protection up at the top. This is kind of more like a classic motocross boot, this sort of big TPU shin protector here. But again, there's no 
major ankle protection, okay? So if you're taking a big bike on some more serious single track where things could get really dicey, I think you might wanna step it up in that ankle protection. When it comes to getting in and out of the boot and whether or not you're gonna put your pants in inside or over, you really have a lot of options. You got a lot of room to work with this giant Velcro patch here, and then we're gonna have the BOA entry or uh, the BOA cable system on the back to tighten this up. If you're not familiar with BOA, you can see this on a lot of boots, both in the motorcycle industry, in the ski industry, all over the place. Let's put this out of the way. Okay, so if you wanna get into the boot, you're gonna pop that out. It's gonna allow that cable system to uncinch. You notice they have a gator here to keep the water out inside. They've got this honeycomb pattern, this mesh material here, very comfortable, high end. And actually I have the insole out of this one and they really finish off. I don't know if you can see all the way down to the bottom of the boot. The whole boot is completely finished off and waterproof with Gore-Tex, so that's nice. Now when you want to get back into the boot, you're gonna click that BOA and you're gonna ratchet it down. It's gonna pull that cable system tight. So like I said, you have flexibility if you wanna put your riding pants inside or outside of the Adventure GTX the choice is yours. And they got a pull loop here to help you get in and out of the Adventure GTX. Down below, we have calf accordion stretch panel here. And a nice thing they did, they didn't put leather all the way to the back. This is that mesh kind of foam material in the back here, which is gonna be a little kinder to your calf, especially if you got bigger legs, it's not gonna jab into you. On the front, we have accordion flex to give you nice walkability on and off the bike up here below the TPU and then down below your buckle. Buckle system, straightforward. It is replaceable with a simple Allen head screw. So if you do manage to break this off, you can buy a replacement. Same goes for your other side of the strap so you can cinch this down where you need it to be. The foam padding on the inside of this behind the TPU and in the instep and the lateral side of this boot is made by XRD. This is five millimeter impact foam in the midfoot and uh, in that ankle. We have that instep guard, which I already showed you here. And then we actually have a Michelin sole. That's right. They don't just make tires. They actually make soles for your next pair of adventure boots. Very grippy sole. You're gonna be dialed in even on slippery intersections or if you get off into the woods or uh, off that asphalt, you're ready to rock with the Michelin sole. That does it. That's the Climb Adventure GTX. A step over that kind of uh, more casual hiking style boot from Climb. If you want a full length boot, but you don't want to go to that very stiff and rigid motocross style boot, you actually want to walk around when you get to a pretty place on your adventure bike, this is worth looking at. Still gonna give you lots of protection. That does it. You still got questions. Rider support is always standing by at speedax.com where you can talk to a human over the phone, live chat, or emails. If you guys said the Adventure GTX, let us know how you like them in the comment section below. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.